Hello, and welcome to our second video on aerodynamics modeling of incompressible flow fields. In the first video, we started using some of these vector calculus tools in order to look at flow fields and get some properties out of them using Python scripts. Uh, we looked at divergence, stagnation points, potential flow, uh, these kind of things. In this video, I want to go just a couple steps further with a couple more examples of Python scripts uh, looking at flow fields. So here is a, another script, and in this script we have to find a stream function. Uh, you know that to get the velocity components from the stream function, we just have to take the um, partial differential of that scalar function, and uh, we here do that. Um, so the uh, stream function that we're using is y cubed minus y cubed over 3. Um, we already saw how we can plot the field, get the divergence and the curl of it. Um, and I thought for this example, um, it would be nice to be able to see um, the circulation around a path. So for this path, I've defined um, four lines. Uh, this is the box going counterclockwise from the origin um, to uh, the point 1 comma 1 and then back to the origin. Um, we perform a line integral and the function that we perform the line integral over is the curl um, and as you know um, that gives you the circulation so we just have to add these four integrals together um, and here is the uh, vector field that we're integrating over a box something like this um, and quite simply uh, we get the total circulation uh, is 2. And here you can see the divergence is 0, so it's incompressible. And the curl um, is a function of y, and so it is not a potential function or a potential field. So that was the first example. And for the second example, Let's uh, change this a bit and make it a, uh, we'll have it be a velocity potential function. And as you know, all you have to do is take the gradient of this scalar function and then you get the velocity vector field. Uh, we know how to plot the vector field and to see the divergence and curl. Um, and now we're interested in how will we figure out the pressure field, um, which would be nice to plot. Um, so in order to get the pressure field, we go back to these equations that we have, and we see conservation of momentum shows um, that um, rho times the dot product of velocity and the del operator, um, which is the differential of x and the differential of y, um, multiply that by uh, the velocity vector, the velocity field vector again is equal to minus the, um, the pressure differential. Um, so if we just can, we, we know all of these, um, so if we can break these down um, in Python uh, into components, which we do here, this is the component form of that equation, um, then we just can multiply it by um, negative of the density of air and this gives us the pressure differential um, and of course we want um, an absolute pressure or I mean I should say a relative pressure um, and we can do that by finding the potential function which would give us this differential if we were to take the gradient of that function and we can just do that by integrating um, and that gives us a pressure. Um, now the pressure is can be plotted. So this is our vector function showing the velocity of the flow stream and this is the pressure. You see there are no values but um, as it's an integral it's all relative values anyways. Um, and this is quite useful and this can be used later on um, say we want to find the pressure on a surface 
we can use this tool to find the pressure on a surface um, and calculate pressure forces, um, estimate things like lift and drag. So uh, you see where this is going. It, it's a lot of very useful uh, tools that we're building up here. Um, anyways, uh, the script is attached with the video. Um, download it, play around with it, change some of the values, see what you can do with it. And yeah, hope you'll uh, stay for the next video.